I have the thing remembering quite a lot of points, so it's not super happy with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Like, you can see the shape of the yeah. hull. That's awesome. So it's laying on its side. Fortunately, the ship turned, so I'm going to have registration errors to fight with. Oh, yeah. Because the USBL has been fussy. Uh, but that's okay. That's what I do. So how do you deal with that? You I, have to match I, the two yeah, I, do, I just match the passes, align them, and, and average the position offset, right. you know, between the two. Or pick one as a reference and just say, yeah. Match the other one to this. I mean, they're they're lined up to within 50 centimeters or something. But, yeah. yeah they'd be better if you had multi-detect. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already like panicked that I don't have the exact perfect settings. And here comes Larry, multi detect. I don't know. Chris, we're looking at the fact that you get real a group of dense soundings and then less dense, dense and less dense in a very regular yeah, pattern. See, look at how we get, I think we're getting secondary echoes off the seafloor there. See mm -hmm. how they're punching through? Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that's like really reflective surface and then bouncing back off of yeah, that or okay. something. Mm -hmm. Multi path, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's the conning tower. How cool mm -hmm. is that? Yeah. yeah. And you can see, like, the, the plating is ripped off here. That's awesome. That's a, that's a, let's, let's. I can see <laughs> yeah, from, the, so cool. from, <laughs> from the amount of right clicking look, look, you look do at the tower. for us to be able to do this autonomously is. I'm a bit dubious. And the detail is phenomenal. Well, I mean, I'm just trying to. I got to just fiddle with every knob. Right. You, you, you. <laughs> You, of all people, understand that, Dan. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're getting, we're getting a, be a beautiful definition of the conning yeah, tower as we're passing a, over it. That's really nice. We, got it, I, we didn't get a great angle on the first pass, right. but this, this, this pass is, yeah. is really so good. So I would say we want to, because of the way that thing's leaning over, we'd want to come up this side first. Yeah. I think these are the passes that I'll put into your first map. I'm not going to have time to register them for your original dive map, but I All think right. this definitely gives you plenty of definition. So we'll come up the east side first. Yeah. I am to the east of it now, right? Yeah. So let me put, I'll put a, let me put, drop a target right here. And this will be your conning. Uh, yeah, you could just put tower, something like that. Or east of tower. East of Tower. Yeah, yeah. yeah look at that. that's a, and that's that's the yeah we, we see the, Chris look at we're looking at the shadow behind it isn't that yeah and that's but and that's kind yeah. of the the side scan yeah, type yeah that's the side scan effect Im image you get would, yeah. would you get that real enhancement of the uh, actually uh, you hmm. need you need hold that for a second I need to that's a good teaching moment yeah. So well, if that, that was a side scan, you would see just the long shadow and not the conning tower. Well, no, you'd see you'd see it both, but you, it, what you'd mostly see would be that shadow. That's what gives you the, the That's why they're so sensitive for finding small objects, yeah. um, because even a even a small object will cast that really yeah. long shadow. And so for things like mine hunting, so, you know, side scan is very good. Yeah, and if you look, if yeah, from like the angle that Hercules would have seen it. Yeah. Right, we can look from that exact perspective and see how that would have cast a shadow. So Hercules would have been looking at it from right here. So no occlusions when you view it from that perspective, obviously. And so if we if we did this from a surface multi-beam, being uh, whatever we are, um, 1,700 meters or so from the top, the, the angle of the beams, the angle of attack would be very, very different. And we wouldn't cast it. We'd see a little shadow, but nothing like that at all. So. So that's for looking, you know, people, when water, people want to find small little objects on the seafloor, that having that that low angle view is a tremendous advantage. Um, and, and here we're getting the best of both worlds because we have that low angle view, but we're doing it with all the depth information. No, yeah, I, I, viewers, I, I understand are, that. Yeah. are commenting that they don't see it, but uh, yeah, no, I, and I, apo I apologize that you can't see it. It's really a spectacular sonar image. But 
A uh, side scan is not georeferenced, is it? It's just. It is. It, is. it, it can be. It, they can be? Yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of times they're, they're tough not. because they're towed. Oh. Yeah. Right? So it's hard to. Yeah, yeah maybe maybe what we can do is uh, one of you put out on social media later capture that that image. Yeah, wait. How about can you uh, check this can you hold that right there, yeah, Chris? Chris, if you hold that, uh, um, Jonathan will uh, yeah. take a picture and then. Uh, I just got a screenshot, so we yeah. can. No pictures of screens. Well, well, just like so that, that allowed. Be fine. <laughs> as Jonathan, long as so Jonathan will put it on social media instantly. No, I'm going to give it to Maddie, and then she'll do that. Jonathan will give it to Maddie, and she'll put it on social media instantly. She'll reject it because it's a picture of yeah, the no, screen, that's what which he is did, yeah. explicitly yeah. not allowed. Yeah. <laughs> Are you um, not so at that Larry, meeting? Stop moving it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Gabby. One of my students is writing in. It. Stop. Keep Go moving, faster. Chris. <laughs> More beans. All right, we're good. Thank you. So, Larry, this is, I'm assuming you this think this is side load in action, action over here, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 he's they're doing, they're doing it. Um, so uh, hopefully Madison will get that out on social media. So go and check out uh, Nautilus Live's uh, Instagram. Now, for Dan, let's see if we can count the number of propellers, the number oh, of blades wow. on the propeller. That's uh, the ultimate test, yeah. yeah. You can almost count the rivets on this uh, image. It's incredible. Detail. Yeah, this was a really good angle to view the sub from. Yeah, it's just perfect. Okay, so we're trying to get a picture out on uh, on social media so folks at home can see the spectacular sonar image we're seeing. Yeah, and the uh, social media is not always live in case you missed it. I find it funny how much, we're not that much closer than the other pass. I find it funny how much clearer this pass was. Because it's laid over on its side. Are we yeah, and maybe it was just a better angle on it, I guess. But yeah, you can see the keel there. So yeah. you get more of a right angle yeah, yeah, the yeah, other way. It, it was yeah, right. I think that that's it. We're we're almost orthogonal to yeah. the majority of the superstructure. The other side was just a, a smaller, a smaller section of the superstructure that we were seeing. <laughs> Danny Hinshaw says, "Come on, I want to see the Norbit screen." <laughs> Should be here, Danny. Yeah, better better pulled out. <laughs> there you go, because then, the, then the pixels blend together and yeah. it gives us a much smoother. Well, I was seeing if we could see propeller yeah. action, but. Interestingly, how it's widening out here. So I'm gonna be interested to see if this is like actual, oh, if these are artifacts a, or if these are actual There's a propeller. Be, and things. Yeah. See it? I bet that white widening is silt. Uh, yeah, that's also yeah. around the front of the yeah. ship, Larry. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, we have a question about these white worms uh, looking things that keep going by the cameras. If they're the long ones, those are Dan's worst nightmare, the siphonophores that kind of look like line. Oh, I thought that was a species, Dan's worst, Dan's <laughs> worst nightmare. <laughs> Welcome or maybe a genus. The common name, yeah. Maybe a genus. <laughs> and uh, we have a question about how old is the submarine? Yeah, the submarine was commissioned. I think they started building it in 1943. It was commissioned in February of 1945. It never, um, it never saw action in World War II. Too late. Okay. You want to drop a uh, waypoint The Japanese there? Uh, surrendered yeah. before it left its uh, home port, and so then it was um, turned over to the U.S. It was brought to Pearl Harbor, and Jason yeah, described it. a kind of Landing, hair raising sub or something. delivery uh, fires sure, on board yeah. and other things but then after after less than a year well wow. it's uh, going to be offset in from may that of one. 1946 uh, it was whatever, uh, sunk meters. by a u.s uh, submarine the so queenfish uh um, 20 meters at, east in, of in it, a right? target practice uh, it, that should it be was 20 meters east sunk. target or whatever is that right yeah we're going south right yeah, yeah. So it should be over here. Right I mean, you should, you'll be able to pick it up in these guys, no problem, once you get at this point. Mm -hmm. All right, are we uh, happy with this survey? Yes. Yeah. Why yeah. don't you put, uh, right. if you can know. do one yeah. vessel move and put Atalanta right over that target that you just sure dropped, thing. that would be awesome. Huh? That is two seven, let's call it three zero meters. Yeah. Bridge, bridge nav, three zero meters due south. 
So we'll do one more vessel move to put uh, Atalanta where Hercules is now. Do that, do so. And uh, Chris is going to run away and make some pretty maps. <laughs> I'm going to put a break in the log, but I'm going to leave wait. this up so you'll have this to, you'll have this to, oh wait, you can't view it up there. Oh, you guys have it there. I got it right here. All right, I'll. Uh, I'm actually going to turn it off. So I, I want my other sonar there, so. Okay, so you don't. You don't care what I do with it? No, I don't care. I don't know. Right. I'm going to leave it no, up. That's not it's all just going to be one big log, which is going to be a little annoying. Well, but actually, we can put it. We'll do this. Yeah, okay. But it's broken, so I'll be able to. Can't see it. How's that? Hi, Jasmine. Hi, Miranda. Eh, eh, eh. So, um, yeah, if you leave it at that angle, that'll be perfect. Okay. Look at you, Ray. you got an orbit. You're the only one in the room with an orbit screen. Oh, yeah? Okay. The whole world is waiting. I'm going to go well, down and orbit. process some data, and I'll <laughs> send some maps up for you shortly. Yeah. What's that? Okay, <laughs> we can uh, see your Argus altitude there. I'm going to start coming down. Are you gonna pull me? Uh, I'll come back towards you a little bit. You can probably come down five meters there. Okay. We got. Um, you can leave that if if you want. We have 20 meters left on a vessel move, and so he's. We're gonna put Atlanta right here, and then I can use that to fly over and acquire the target. Okay, sounds good. You can look at the pretty picture for a while. Okay, I'm about 19 meters off bottom. How close you want me? Uh, that should be good. Okay. Just going to see if I can pick it up. And My sonar is here. And you can come around and look. Uh, which way do you got to turn? If you turn starboard. Yeah. Starboard to 315. Or, yeah. As I come around. Yeah. So I have a sonar target, funny enough, 20 meters away. And then we said 20 meters east of target. You got to love Norbit. Stole it. Hey, Jonathan. And we see the seafloor. Yeah, no worries. Hello, back row. Put up high back. And Yay. Up. Hello. Yo, what's up? Jonathan is awake. <laughs> We're 20 meters away from the target, so if you want to get your camera set up. Incredible. I need Dr. Pepper. He's limbering up. We're on the seafloor now. 15 meters away. We're coming. Up. We're gonna come tail in first. Uh, we have a question if Okeanos has uh, been here before. Oh. Not the Okeanos, not that I know of. I don't, I don't know, but I don't think so. Here's the first thing coming into sight right now. There you go. Okay, I'm going to have my hands full here while okay, we first right, get we'll here just to get we'll a little we'll lay keep, of the we'll neighborhood. We'll keep the top so. down. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Looks like the fish has indicated uh, which way the current's blowing, so that's favorable. Oh, well, it's it's the it's the aft end, yeah. There we are, approaching from the stern. First view. As you say, Larry, the aft of the ship. Mm -hmm. Atalanta nicely positioned. It looks like the current is flowing from my right to my left, so the fish is lying to me. Just get a feel here for which way the current's blowing. That will help me determine any uh, fishing gear or anything that's tangled up, which way that might be uh, blowing in the breeze. I don't know. 
where to look for it. There's the prop. Yep. That's the boat. The prop and the, uh, that's the rudder. Well, looks, uh, Dan, we'll have, what's it, the distance right now, sir? It looks like that's a, a little dive plane in the back, too. Well, I'm about uh, three meters from the... Uh, so okay. a, ru a rudder and a dive plane. Rudder would be vertical, dive plane, horizontal. It's a yeah. little at an angle, of course, now. That's well, probably let's three a, meters. Let's get uh, two meters when you have a chance on it to get focus. All right. I'm just going to float up and have a general look ahead of me here before I get close. Make sure there's uh, no entanglement hazards. Not in my immediate future. Okay. I'm going to come down and we'll... Uh, Get closer to the dive plane here. That should be, give you a good surface to focus on, yeah? Yeah, thank you. Are we uh, photogrammetry or cinematic, Jonathan? Um, or both? There's a lot of backscatter in the water. I'm almost... Uh, how close is that Atlanta really far? Yeah, we're, we're not doing that. Uh, Not so we know the neighborhood. So. I mean, then we should probably just do the photogrammetry first, don't you think? I think so, yeah. I mean, we got to know the neighborhood, so we might as well. Yeah. Does sound uh, does sound like a good plan for you? Yeah, there's no way they're going to let me fly around this in the dark. Okay, <laughs> so let us uh, let me just get a really solid focus at about this standoff distance. That's just about two meters there. From That's the two meters? Right. Yeah, and um, Dan, we've got a request from the back here if it's feasible to get a a zoom from Atalanta, if that's if that's feasible. Uh, we right. can move. Uh, Starboard is focused. Yeah, stand by. Why don't you move Atalanta ten meters You're towards good. Herc? Roger. He's gonna he's gonna try. We'll do you one better, Larry. We'll move uh, we'll move Atalanta closer. Okay, great. Thank you. That'll help me out too to uh, give me an overview of the site. So I don't get in trouble here. Bridge, bridge to have one zero meters at three zero zero, please. Copy, thanks. That'll give us, uh, we should get some better lighting from Atalanta if it's closer and lower. <laughs> and hopefully the current will be favorable. We do so without our tether in our face. Uh, we have a viewer asking, is Taylor Ann seeing all of this biota? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I am, and I'm note-taking it. I'm seeing uh, a lot of anemones there on that, that what is that, a rudder? Um, that portion up there on the top, I'm not sure what that is yet. Um, I think the top is the dive plane and the bottom the dive plane. is the rudder. Yep, it's and on its side. Yeah, and then there's a lot of corals that we briefly got to see. There's one here in frame, but they're or plenty more on top of the, the body of this sub. This is the most life I've seen on a, a wreck that I, uh, so far. Yeah. It's pretty pretty remarkable, huh? Yeah. Um, so we have a viewer asking if we know what? how it was sunk. Was it torpedoes? Yes, one torpedo from the USS Queenfish. And it, this was, you know, it was as, target, as a target. Uh, not not sunken battle. Um, so scuttled. And sounds like we might have our uh, shore team tuning in as well. Um, not sure if you can hear us on SPL uh, or if you can chime on in. And, and Dan um, Hans uh, mentions that 2009 images show some small lines lying across the canted sail and periscope er uh, area. Sorry, it shows what? Some lines, some some fishing lines right. lying across the sail, and the, so we just have to be particularly careful when we get to that area. Thanks, Hans. Yep. When do I get my T-shirt? Yeah. The dead man's watch lives on. <laughs> the last thing to die is hope. 
<laughs> okay, and c can we zoom beyond that with uh, Athelot? Uh, I'm just waiting for the vessel move here. Okay. Uh. Yeah, the move is complete, but Port the still has it going. Start. Sorry, I lost my tilt. Can't make sure here yet. You can uh, come down five meters, probably. Me? Yep. Someone's commenting, knowing how slowly corals grow, the size of those primnoids on top are a shock for only 77 years there since the go. time it was scuttled. That's a good observation. I wonder if uh, the iron substrate helps them grow extra fast. How's that for a <laughs> geophysicist? Sounds like it could be a, a thesis. <laughs> Is, has the current direction been probably very consistent over that entire 77-year period? No, I would I would think so. I, I think. Uh, and uh, I look forward to hearing if some of our onshore experts on uh, how this uh, wreck compares to others they've seen in terms of its condition sea life and we'll have plenty of opportunities as we move down this sub for them to join us and comment I think one of the more interesting things will be to hear how it compared to how it looked in uh, 2009 yes so 14 14 years ago and see if it, they note any significant changes looks like Atalanta is pretty much settled Roger. Is that you changing your heading there? Is it? It's just bopping around. Sometimes if you uh, cycle your auto head. Like I that. did already. Put it. Yeah, and all you can give us with a zoom on Atalanta would be great. Uh, well you can zoom in while we're static here. Mm -hmm. Well, but I'll want to zoom back out when we start moving. Sure. Uh, somebody's commenting that they don't see a lot of corrosion for the duration in water. Uh, could that be because of depth or other reasons? So what we're seeing here definitely are some fragments of, of rust, this orange coloration here that we're seeing on the dive plane. Um, but yeah, it's relatively, you know, intact, not falling apart. Um, but it, it is interesting to note that this dive plane seems to have a lot more concentration of uh, of rust than the, the lower portion that we're seeing here, but we'll continue to observe the, the condition of this vessel as we explore around it, just to see uh, if there is any more evident of evidence of corrosion. So we have that, I assume that small coral that's sitting on uh, the rudder? Yeah, primnoid fans seem to be the most dense um, there might be a little pink coral there at the base of the dive plane, but I can't really tell. But definitely some primnoid white fans here in the front and along the top portion of the, the, the body of the sub we saw earlier. So we know that that's grown that large. Yeah, yeah, because I think they, they don't grow that fast. So yeah, so that, that's... They've that's been here probably since... Since day one. Yeah, for a while. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right, Dan. Um, you recording? I am configured. Stand by on the recording. Just Boom. checking. Just checking so to make sure some. We can uh, send that out now on the. Go ahead. Yep. So, uh, Triclops PC is uh, ready to go out. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. You copy. Did you copy that video? Yep. Copy. Going out on channel three. Right. Okay, so can we go wide on Atlanta now, please? Yep, absolutely. Get we'll try and uh, get it a little closer after I'll I get... Uh, get yeah, I think any, any opportunity you have to get folks would be good, but certainly nothing to compromise. Safe fly. Um, and I will say, uh, just to start, um, if we can keep Zeus fairly wide, for most of this. I don't mind like medium zooms, but unless uh, uh, Dan or the watch lead requests, just, just to start well, to make how sure. About, how about, just to make it easy for everyone, how about we do a pass up the side here and just do a photogrammetry pass. Let me get the lay of the neighborhood, make sure there's no lines. Raj. And uh, then we can come back along it and, you know, look closer at things. And we'll be a lot more comfortable then if we know there's yep. no uh, entanglement hazards so or any traps or any debris or anything like that. Roger. So Taylor and I am starting then the Then you'll have your photogrammetry, and uh, by then hopefully K2 will have his map, and we'll be cooking with gas. Roger. So Taylor and I'm starting photogrammetry right now, uh, all cards formatted. Um, cinema and port. Roger. Thank Do you. this target or... Yeah, it's line. probably going to be that, but you'll get an idea after I start moving there from my track line. Uh, and Dan, for your reference, I'm using the uh, 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 bottom left is the port camera. Roger, that makes sense. That's the primary photogrammetry camera, okay? The zoomed in one. The yeah, bottom left zoomed in. Roger that. Okay, thank you. You gotta make one adjustment, but you don't have to. Uh, I got uh, also, sure, if you are here, just let us know. Um, we haven't been able to hear you yet. Uh, if you're tuning in from V Link from Shore. Yeah, this is Phil. We're, um, we're following. I know Hans had a, a thought for just a second. But yeah, we're excited that um, the 201 is back in view, and uh, you know, we're correlating all of our data from 2009 to what we're seeing now. So, yeah, we're here. Thanks. Great. Glad to hear you. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of coral. It looks like uh, you can... Uh, let me line up just a little bit. Look at all the corals that colonized up top. Uh, let's say uh, three, four, five. Copy. Is there anything unique about the design of that screw, three, the three, propeller, three, that would limit or reduce three, four, five, noise? What, what, what I read Copy, did not mention anything unique about the about the uh, propeller design. And, and the, the documents were you, um, explicit about one, highlighting the things the, that uh, were they thought me. important and unique, yeah. and, and that wasn't mentioned. But that that doesn't mean it. I know that's an important part of submarine design today. Look at this Keep rend in the hull. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, separation. Absolutely. Separation of uh, a plate. One of the things they did notice in, in some some of the is that the Japanese had a very special technique of riveting that uh, they thought was uh, interesting. Yeah, the rivets are not immediately apparent. Looks like mostly sea growth. Looks like some red color paint too on that second box. Oops. Sorry, guys. Sketchfab automatically open there. One second. If anyone watches on satellite feed three, Sketchfab link for 
It's now available. That's not distracting. Yeah. Sorry. There you go. Uh, we have a viewer asking, how big was the sub's crew before their surrender? That's a good question, and I don't remember. I'm sure I read it somewhere, but let's see if I can find something quick. Can you make that uh, stereo camera a little bigger for me, Charlie? Yes, I can. This, it'll let me know if there's any uh, hazards coming up, which is quite handy to be able to look out the corner of your eye. I think I see a... Uh, not uh, sure if the it's one on the... Yeah, either one. Either oh. one. Either one, maybe. All right. Is that a lobster or a shrimp right past that permanoid? Yep. Perfect, thank Looks you. Looks like it. Do you know which one it is? Lobster I think it's shrimp? a shrimp. It's a big uh, shrimp. I'm also trying to ID this yellow coral. It looks like a fine, like a chrysogorgia, but I'm not familiar with that. Um, I've got a fly trap anemone. It's a different kind than this this sorts of anemones we were seeing lining the sides. Earlier, I also did see a, a corallid, a pink fan coral, a precious coral. Uh, somebody's asking, do ships rust less in deep water and more in shallow oceans? And I think it's Rise Grandma. Can do another two zero. And I think the answer oh, would be uh, probably uh, yes. It really depends. I th I think on the oxygen maybe, level in the uh, water. Three yeah, two zero this so. Time. When we did see the wrecks of the Kaga and Akagi um, and the USS Yorktown, there were large rusticles um, kind of dripping off of them like icicles. Some um, more so rusting deeper. Right? Yeah, there, there was quite a bit of rusting. Uh, I'm not sure if I can compare yet as, say, less or more, but definitely evidence of Copy, thank you. Dan, a lot I actually of think this might be a little too close. Let's yep, try to keep yep. the... Backing keep off just a little bit, maybe. Sorry. No worries. Just I want to make sure that we have just enough of the uh, sand to bed the yeah, model. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at that right one, and that's I lost track of the left one. Sorry. Uh, you know what? Maybe the left one might I'll, not. I'll, I'll come back a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So the the crew for this submarine uh, was seven officers and 45. You can make Listed the left one a little bigger persons. too, Jonathan. I'm not really using the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. down-looking camera a lot. I'll come back a little bit and then we'll... Uh, yeah, that's better. Thank you. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, sorry, folks. Uh, photogrammetry pass here, so... I'm not really looking at the main zoo screen. I'm, well, I am, but... Um, I mean, do you mind me just also, full, full screen that one? Also looking at... Uh, no, I'm good there. Okay. I'm also looking at these little screens here on my right or my left. Mm -hmm. uh, some viewers are pointing out that it could also... Uh, the rusting could also depend on, upon the surface coatings as well. That's yeah. true. That's true. And uh, I certainly read that the... Uh, the Japanese did have non-fouling co coverage, paint covers. This one did not have the uh, radar and sonar, special coating to absorb radar and sonar, uh, but most, most others did. And the reason this one didn't The reason this one didn't have the uh, radar and sonar absorbing coatings was because they actually were rough, and this submarine was specializing in high speed submerged. Uh, I think I, me I mentioned earlier that we have a design speed submerged of uh, 19 knots, which is quite remarkable in those days, uh, two to three times faster than uh, the U.S submarines were capable of at the time and so they did everything they could to keep the come down a few meters there now the resistance right. hydrodynamic resistance low how many you want and for those of you joining us here recently larry pointed uh, out the japanese had shifted war? their war production sure. and naval production i don't know primarily into submarines sailing. larry as we got to the end of the war 
Which is a really interesting point. Okay, that puts me about 12 meters above the seafloor. Right and then look up just a little for Yeah, me. I'm gonna look up and over a bit. So the United States yeah, had such good. dominance perfect. in nice. the air. Perfect out line of view. So I'll try and keep it in the bottom right corner there. Well, I was just looking at some of the pictures from the 2009 dives, and I'm wondering if you can identify individual corals that were seen in 2009 with ones that you've seen now, and actually see how much they've grown. Wouldn't that, that would be wouldn't, wouldn't that be really cool. Interesting? Yeah, definitely can make that a goal to go back and compare these corals with one another. What's that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. now you can change it now to do the Atlanta parallel now. Yeah, that's Atlanta a really Atlanta nice Atlanta. offset. So Argus. if you can hold that offset, Elon, that would be just brilliant. So we have a nice overview Sorry, from Atlanta. I Stop tilting. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the, uh, the comment on comparing the size of coral spot on, not often we have. I'll wait for you. At this kind of regular intervals. Um, and I think even the dives that we've seen so far today, this the need for, um, for continuing to visit these places if we can and if we need to And if I could ask our uh, outside experts to identify themselves when they speak so, so, we, so we know who's joining in. Yeah. Yeah, on the conning tower. Yeah, the, yeah. Come up just a little bit. And give us a shot of the conning yeah. tower there. Yeah, we can see on uh, you can see on feed two, the the rising sun. You want to see the top of it? Yeah, that's good right there. Flag oh. on the conning tower. Sure, can Larry. It's uh, visible in the upper left, and uh, there's that line that. Uh, and and the identification, the I two O one. Absolutely. And so this was the this was the first of a class of these uh, very high speed while submerged uh, submarines that the Japanese were building. There was a box falling out. Look at that. Okay, here's a little peek inside. Battle damage. I suspect that that's not the torpedo hit. I suspect the torpedo hit is what split the bow. Yeah, from my, the, uh, Perhaps a buckling. Yeah. Just imagine the forces that were required to do that. Creeping a little close, Captain. Sorry, sorry. People at home will see what that, Larry's uh, talking about. That signal on froze up there, too. Jonathan. Right, my signal froze up. You want me to hold here for a minute? Yes, please. What my signal? You want to hold position with the ship? Cameras are yeah. fine. Bridge, bridge, nav, hold position. <sighs> Stand by. Thank you. They're still recording though, eh? It's still recording. Roger. Jonathan never stops recording. Always. Record. Just goes to a black screen. Yeah, I know. There's something wrong with the triclops signal, I think. Hopefully just to the screen. Oh, uh, the cameras are recording. Yeah. I'm just going to keep moving just a little for because uh, keep our... Yeah, if you just keep, here. if you keep backed off about that much, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, Roger. We got a nice shot here in Atalanta, so... Yeah, it's a beautiful shot from Atalanta, you yeah. know. I, assu I assume those continuous holes we see along the upper part of the deck, that's, I assume, where the water is taken in when, when you dive. I don't know. Well, maybe not. No, um, maybe maybe that wouldn't be. That, it wouldn't make much sense with it because uh, it's kind of high and above the water. I don't know. What the hell? And just a heads up to everyone: van cam is back on. What's that? Van cam is back on while uh, Jonathan's troubleshooting. All uh, right. What's this problem? I thought you were giving me grief for smacking gum, which. <laughs> I tend to do so. If I do that, please yell at me. Gotcha. I did. I did. I did read that this submarine was able to dive in 50 seconds. Can wow! I, can um, imagine how many drills they must have gone through to. Uh, Dan, 
Just keep shooting blind as you're going past. Yeah, I'm and just, then, uh, I'll Atlanta's continuing to move, so it's actually going to probably settle out nicely because we're coming to uh, the end here. Okay. Yeah, Hans, Hans has chimed in say those are called flooding holes. Those right. are prevents. Those vents along the bottom, uh, uh, Larry? No, I think, the, another, I think they're the upper ones. Do another uh, 10. Uh, I, I don't think the ones along the bottom are supposed to be exposed. I think that's... Uh, what is that structure uh, three, four, four, five, five, please? If one of our experts on... Uh, bring, your, bring your head to the right just a bit for me. Yeah, you yeah, see the holes on the top now. now. Just keep Hercules in the shot there. I'm probably floating up a bit. I'm watching you, not when I'm. Not good. Ah, uh, you're good there. I was. I floated up a bit. That was a big heave. Yeah, you're perfect there. I came up too high. I'm. I'm gonna come back to the left just a little in case I miss the bottom there. Yeah. So you I'm see, you see, John, that looked like that was covered. That. That's just uh, a. No, I'm just going to make sure I got the shot here because I don't have the reference at the moment. I did float up there, so. Yeah, so I see what you mean, Larry. I'll come back to the right here. Just make sure we're getting coverage for the photogrammetry. So here we're all sitting here enthralled by the submarine, and Taylor Ann is still busy looking up fish, which is really good. Okay, we have the option of uh, moving back down that and playing around, or yeah, Jonathan has left, so I don't, I don't know what he, what he wants to do. I certainly wouldn't mind taking a peek inside the. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Take a peek, uh, looking inside of it there, around the, around the corner. Yeah. Yeah, we could probably continue uh, around and look at that cross section. Right. Yeah. So let's do another uh, ten with Atlanta yeah. there, but Atlanta where her yeah, is right first now. Yeah. So first, let's look. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, somebody's commenting that the uh, that's the keel section. Uh, the part of it, the plating has been torn back. Right. Uh, that's a, that's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Yep. Bridge now, one zero meters due north, please. So Copy we'll things. we'll slowly come around and take a look inside and. In I think what you what you really uh, will get a f a sense for. So, Jonathan, in your absence, we're just taking a look on the inside here. You you can you can take over in a few minutes. Uh, I like looks. Yeah. As soon as he loads a Steam video game, no wonder your computer's slow. Well, I mean, we're playing those wicked games of Call of Duty at night. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Somebody's asking, is this deeper than the sub could dive? Uh, the sub had, yes, yeah, the sub had a maximum dive depth of uh, 110 meters, so 350 feet or so, and we're, we're about, well, we're at uh, 1,700 meters now on that order, I think. I never did see that piece of debris. Maybe that's it underneath us to our left that we mapped. I think that piece of debris was uh, more at the forward end. Uh, uh, we're all the way forward there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I just yeah, kind yeah, of flew yeah. under it, and it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. yeah, it is yeah. showing to the left on the map there that Chris has kindly. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're just behind the bow section. Yep, that's right. And can any of our either onshore experts or anyone here tell what are we looking at when we look inside the hull? What part of the ship is that? Looks like an entryway, perhaps. So, uh, like a. A hallway from one 
We know it's hatch. It's, it's open. 19, I know it's 19 meters. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's got the drawing right here. Yeah. But the the the, the, sh the hull of the ship is 19 meters. Yeah. The, the, uh, look yeah, here. That's yeah. a little for me now. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. 19 feet, not 19 meters. 19, 19 feet. feet. 5.8 meters. And and you think about the fact that there were 52 people. Kind of wedged. Come on. Yeah. Yep. So they, 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 they had plenty of length for, for and after to run around, but oh. not much, not much width. Right, right. Uh, I doubt the Japanese Navy was worried about creature saying. comforts. But uh, be interested to know what. So we're right in front of the conning tower. Is it? Is it not coming left. Yeah, so what, so what compartment is that right in front of the yeah. conning tower? That's what I was wondering, Larry. What compartment yeah. is that? Yeah. Stores. I'm gonna look up. In front. If oh, in front. I uh, don't yeah. no, Just to your left cool. somewhere. Accommodations. Uh, it doesn't say battery? There you go. Uh, oh, yes. Number one battery. Yeah, so so looking at the drawing of the submarine, this should be in the battery compartment. Okay. And which yeah, would be sort of behind the torpedo room, I assume, yeah. in the front? Uh, yeah. The, in the bow? Yeah, it would be behind the torpedo room. And what's in between the batteries and the torpedo room? There's about two meters. See, I got all those wires shredded and torn Let's see if I can get a better image. Uh, okay, what do you want to do, Johnny? You want to go down the other side or back down the side we went on? Or? Uh, let's. Why don't you do your full hazard circle? Go all the way around. Okay. We'll go all the way around, and then we can get fancy afterwards. Yeah, let's back. Right. And also, if we back away, see if we can see that. that piece of debris and what that I was. did see the line as we went by it was insignificant okay good Linda. it was uh, like a piece of twine and it was uh, laying down on the on the vessel yep you're getting it <laughs> uh, maybe not quite so far maybe right here how about yeah let's put it on top of her it'll make your life easy so this, uh, move a more in the bow section, well. that would be where the torpedo uh, section would be. You could just be. move it right to Hercules, would be good. Copy. The submarine carried 10 torpedoes and had four Three torpedo three tubes. One five All in the forward section. All no, the forward no, five aft, five no aft five torpedoes. Zero, so they could not sink and fire any submarines Copy from things. the stern. Interesting. How fast, I wonder how fast the torpedoes uh, ran once they fired one oh. at that time. I know our torpedoes today are very fast. Yeah, I, I don't know, but I think they were even fast back then, too. Yeah. Nautilus, this is still firing. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's, it's such an interesting cross section. Some of the like, horizontal-looking um, shafts and the importance of this gone to maybe going to tank, but hard to say, right? Because there's, there's just so many compartments. They're all having their own pressure ratings and all of all the things. That they're doing. It's a lot more. Uh, we're just uh, back row. We're uh, moving Atalanta where Hercules is right now, so we can light it up down the side there and get in a position to run down the other side. Uh, as we wait for Atalanta, can you give me an experimental lights off, just for the for a hot minute? Are you still recording, Jonathan? Yep. Okay, just making sure. I'm always recording. I would hope so. <laughs> so that is just the yeah, light from absolutely Atlanta. beautiful. Okay, that's good. I won't. I'm not going to concentrate on lighting right now, <laughs> but I just wanted to give everyone a preview of how cool it could look. What it's going to look like when Simon is flying around in the dark. Oh. <laughs> and I'm watching from the... No, not at all. <laughs> I am. I'm ready here. I'm here for you if you want to... If you want to start early. A uh, viewer is saying that this large rectangular space is for a retractable deck gun. Okay, you can look to your left a little bit more for us. Okay. I'll start moseying down there. Great. Okay. 
you might have to do another vessel move and you know do this with the pendulum and then come back otherwise we'll be here all day Okay, John, I just looked up the speed of the Japanese torpedoes, at least the type that they had on here, um, and they're about 45 to 47 knots. So, so very, very fast, although not as fast, of course, as, as today's torpedoes. But fast, certainly fast enough in those days to catch up with the uh, American submarine. 47 knots. That's impressive. And you can look left a little bit more. My brother, Chris, who is listening, has sent me a terrific article on I-401, the sub that yep. was the Japanese designed to be an underwater aircraft carrier and bomb the Panama Canal yeah, that, that I will share with is you. Is that wood yes, planking? Yeah, yeah that's, that's not this one. That's what we'll right, be going tomorrow. to see tomorrow. Yep. That's right. That's tomorrow. That sub is for tomorrow. Yeah. But um, it was huge. Uh, 400, 400 feet long. Extraordinary. You good for me to start coming? Yep. Southward. Yes, please. Okay. Catch me if you can. Bridge, bridge now. Two zero at one six zero, please. Copy. Thank you. Jonathan, we ready to put uh, triclops back up? Yes. All right. You can uh, look Thank up you. just a little mm -hmm. bit now. I'll wait for you here and let you get right. a little closer. It's going to be a conning tower in our future here. So now we're looking at the upper decking. Mm -hmm. Are you concerned at all about the tether getting blown on to the... Hmm. Let me, uh, let me What's that? Uh, Copy. You Thank think you. the tether will and, get and Chris, oh, Chris is not here, but this may explain why Chris had a much yeah, more difficult time imaging this side of the sonar of the submarine than the other. Right. The smooth metal hull as opposed to this uh, very patchy acoustic target. Was this part of the sub, the deck, uh, wooden originally and uh, the wood has been eaten away? Um, I don't know, but uh, certainly uh, a number of the World War II submarines I've seen had wooden had wooden decks, teak, actually teak decks on them. Here you can see the big valve there under the hatch. Yeah. And I wonder, is that, is, is that the, uh, yeah, there's, up, that looks up, like the one, the gun, that, the gun that it had there. Oh, yep. right. Yep. Uh, uh, you know, one of our one of our outside yeah. outside experts, uh, Phil Hartmeyer, is saying, yeah, wood decking, and there's the Type 95 five uh, millimeter anti aircraft gun, or Type 96 25 millimeter. And I think it, what I read is that they uh, basically just left the the Type 96 the 25 millimeter guns on board again, taking off the larger ones for uh, extra submerged speed. It's interesting that they wouldn't have uh, taken those for... So, this, Larry, the sub had this one gun on... Um, I think there were two of these small guns was all that, the only deck gunning that it had, uh, at least what I read. I'm, I'm intrigued by the two lines connected to the muzzle of the gun. Right. They, they somehow look like it, something put on after. So uh, a viewer saying that uh, they did have a wood decking, a very narrow one, and it was made of Taiwanese cypress, not teak. Mm. Yeah, no, I was saying some of the U.S. submarines I've seen, uh, the World War II submarines, had, had teak deck on it. But ta Taiwanese cypress, interesting. Did, did they choose the, deak, the teak wood, uh, Larry, because it had a more resistance to marine organisms or... Yeah, th I, I think I think uh, in general teak, and I, I, I'm sure this Taiwanese cypress are, are very resistant to to rot. Seems like that small pink coral there at the base of the tip of the that gun. 
Uh, as a new compared to the images from 2009 from the Hurl dives. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Well, you have an image up there of the gun? Yeah. Oh. Still see the oh, same that, line. Yeah. It's almost the same perspective. That, yeah. That's, that's spectacular. Wow. Yeah. There's the conning yeah. tower. Okay, wow. and there, uh, yeah, and here are the little lines that are caught on it, yeah. Uh, we should be able to see that rising sun flag. I think it was on the, would be the top side here. It was so, on the other so, side. Yeah. Uh, there's the line that's... Uh, yeah, a couple of lines that's there. That's a beautiful shot, really. was mentioned, so yeah. Spectacular. Thanks, Hans. <laughs> the first line I saw wasn't the one that... Is that a bamboo coral growing off or coming off the, you know, almost going straight down from the conning tower? I think that's a line that just might fouled. Be a, that might yeah. be a line, yeah. That's a line, okay. Yeah. Probably some hydroids on there. I'm not sure what else in this distance. Jonathan, on a lot of information on one this. Five at two zero zero, please. You can uh, look down just a little bit. Wow. Maybe come up this a little. Yeah, you see the your periscope. Yeah, there's the periscope. Yeah. Absolutely, there's the periscope. Fully it had it had two periscopes, one Type 88 Mark III, and one Type 88 Mark IV. Is one higher magnification than the other? I I don't know. But one would the thinner one, I guess, would probably make a less of a signature. Uh, hold on off on the ship, move for a minute, please. Hold position. Too. Bridge, bridge, nav, hold yeah. position, please. Yeah, and there's some good tangles and... Squat lobster. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're okay? Oh, yeah, everything's gone. Yeah. Are those Fishing lines. Uh, several people are commenting that the the top surface of the periscope should have the imperial chrysanthemum crest. Yeah, we briefly saw it from the other angle on the yeah. other side. Uh, okay, and Hans, uh, again, one of our shore-based experts has commented that there's always the question, that's always a question about what the decking is. Um, he thought he read somewhere that there were plans to remove the wood decking, uh, streamlining for speed. But that was a construction plan note, which is not always a reality. And he comments uh, yeah, that... Uh, and also based on my faulty memory. <laughs> okay, you can uh, kick back in, thanks. What's that, Larry? He comments that... No, he commented about how streamlined and modern-looking the hull shape is, which, again, yes. given the speeds it was able to uh, attain, uh, certainly was a lot of thought into that. You might be able to sneak down a few meters, right? A uh, viewer's asking if those lines could have been used to fly their flags. Wow. Or somebody else is saying it could have been a fisherman that believed he hooked a big one. The big one, all right. Want me to look up? <laughs> sure. Oh, that was like an eel or something. Yeah, up. in the Atlantic Ham. Uh, somebody's commenting up how stable the view is in Atlanta. Looks like the sea conditions is very extremely favorable today too. Indeed, it there. definitely is. Yeah. Don't see a lot of heaving in the in the tether. 
that tells you sea conditions. Yep. Bob, have you seen other Japanese uh, subs or ships underwater, you know, wrecks before? Lots. And if you, what, what, what stands out to you from this one? That well, it's very, in Guadalcanal, we found quite a number of Japanese destroyers and the battleship Karishima. Very similar a depth as well, so, and sunk about the same time. I mean, World War II, so, very characteristic. Is this sub more streamlined than the some of the others you've seen? And uh, well, this was a very lately produced submarine. Yes. Concerned about the. But I haven't the seen another. Right and in Guadalcanal, they yeah, were they were minutes. there were no okay. sub Japanese submarines. We're going to be going back there because there's still plenty. Of if I look oh, down, yeah. Yep. In iron bottom sound. Yeah, you can have a quick peek at it. Iron bottom sound. I'll look over and down. We're just going to move out of line to check on our tether here. Uh, we have a viewer commenting, oh, give the Atalanta okay. camera operator an A+. Plus. And the navigator. <laughs> <laughs> Both the navigator and Atalanta pilot are... They have to think a lot further ahead than I do. Again. Yep. Maybe ready. a little closer. Yes, please. Oh, okay. Now that we've got around the conning tower, I think right. we can scoot back in there. Give this back to Larry. Bridge, bridge, nav. One five at one four zero, please. <laughs> Copy, thank you. <laughs> that map makes it too, almost. Too easy. Almost too easy. I was going to say too easy, but okay. almost too easy. We have Chris's, uh, Norbit map up here on the nav screen, so it's really helping us to uh, helping Johan to plan the ship moves to maintain that uh, beautiful Atalanta offset. Uh, we have a viewer asking, "What's that punctured square?" Like the one with the holes in it? Like kind of yeah. looks like a. Like a cracker, almost. Yeah, like a salty cracker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, th well, th this is all the the top decking, and these these are hatches and. Oh. And right, so this is all separated from the pressure hull. The pressure hull is would would keep. Th so this water floods through all this part. Uh, So the wood here would have been designed with a, a grate type pattern in it with water to flow in and out easily as the ship, as the submarine submerged and yes. surfaced. Yeah, and, and, and Hans uh, says, yeah, it's hatched to access the piping and machinery in the free flooding space below the decking. Yeah, so that space below the decking is exposed to the water all the time. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. This is the shore. Uh, this is wonderful imagery. I keep looking at the decking, thinking, does that really look like wood planks that are deteriorating slowly to me, or is it, you know, just metal grating decking? And they did remove the wood. I still don't know. Yeah, I, I, I get the impression it's probably metal grating, but I, I, I can't tell, and, and we're certainly not going to touch it. So. <laughs> Yeah, and, Thank you. and as uh, uh, Phil comments, uh, it certainly gives a good perspective on how small the inner pressure hull actually is, and that side view also. Again, again, I think about about 52 people um, you know, li living inside that that 19 foot wide space, and and 19 feet is the outside diameter. I'm sure the inside right. diameter is much smaller than that, actually. No air conditioning. Very little. Uh, Creature comforts. Uh, 
Question no. for the archaeologist. Do you ever come away with more answers than you get more questions? There always seems to be mysteries that uh, that arise from getting seeing the images again. Uh, yeah, a viewers. Can we answer? More study required, right? Uh, the difference this time, we should be able to get some uh, super Zeus zooms of uh, after we're done with the photogrammetry. The, these here. red markings are very interesting. I wonder if. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can see them in the original 2009 imagery, too. Really? Can you read what it says? Some of them are numbers, right. so numbers. right under the gun, uh, there was a number 100. Maybe maybe come down so it must be, I wonder if it's a measurement of, of... And that one says 210, so I think. The, no, no, but these red marks are... Yeah. Oh, yeah, there, there are no, also no, some no. mushroom corals growing in there, too, that you might be seeing, I've seen. Uh, 21 it's actually B. got a number written on it. Yeah, if you get real close, though, there are some small baby yeah, mushroom corals. Yeah, it's, it's some kind of measure, measuring measuring marks. Yeah, But definitely. I'm just amazed, so red, you know, that, that that's so well preserved like that. Oh, first uh, a Ritagorgia coral. Yeah. Look up a bit. Sure. Yeah, Nautilus, this is Hans. I wonder if those red marks are where they're marking the, the frames in yep. their study of the construction before they disposed it. They're just marking frames on the outside of the instrument. That, that could very well, because again, you know, this, I, I don't think this submarine really uh, left the shipyard. Hey, Dan, make sure you back off really. Uh, uh, gently to get the entire downplane here. Right here. Frame. So is that top portion there the port side and the bottom is starboard? Is it laying on its starboard side? It's laying on its port side. It's laying on its port side, thank you. Yeah, that's the top that we're looking at now. Backy, backy. Stop moving, fish. Oh, this is an interesting comment by uh, by Hans. He's asking if these might be retractable bollards. So a bollard is a, a device that you tie up when when you have to tie up to the pier, where you put the line okay, around. Okay, that's good. Thanks. And uh, again, for for hydrodynamic purposes, maybe they retracted. That's really interesting. It's a good observation. Yeah, there we go with the dive planes and the... And the prop from the other side now. Before we leave this uh, section of the sub, do you think it'd be possible to get a, a good clear shot of that yeah. uh, battle for the Japanese uh, hmm. rising sun flag and the... No, I'm sure. Uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll try to get get that image. Yeah. It, it looks so clear. So for those of you just tuning in, we are looking oh. at a uh, scuttled Japan Japanese submarine I two zero one. Yeah, you can do one more move. Uh, so back row, we need to know what we're going to do next, just so we can plan our ship moves. Jonathan, um, I think that we should start ice in the cake uh, with the Atalanta positioned as you would like. And uh, Dan, can you look at me real quick? It'll be easier to visually show you. Mm. Sure. So essentially, if this is the stern of the ship, um, you know, basically we want to just kind of go like that, up and down. We have good side coverage now, so 
whatever's the most efficient in terms of ship moves. You want to fly right over it, basically. That's correct, and just awesome. kind of, you know, wiggle, wiggle around as you're to provide full coverage, mostly looking at that downward camera now on Triclops. Roger. Uh, we'll get that when we come, when we come around the top. I'm going to uh, swing my heading. Yes, please. So, maybe just to pass right over it on this, right above the top. All right, you good? Roger. Pretty comfortable now, so there was no significant um, hazards there except for the, the yeah. stuff we saw on the uh, on the tower, and which was all kind of hanging down. So I think we could go anywhere you want. Uh, you want to look to the left? Yeah. I think we're gonna fly up and uh, everyone wants a good shot of the tower. So including yours truly. <laughs> Same. Yeah, let's put Atlanta right where Herc is, and then uh, we'll have it right behind us on the way along there. Give us the light. Just awesome. Is this view still good for you, or do you want me to cant it all the way to the de most down for the downward camera? Uh, I'll, I'm fine with that view. You could make the left one a little smaller or make it opaque. All right, stand by. We're just going to slide the ship over a little more. Eh? I don't know. Yeah. You could you could make the run to the north with this offset. That would also work. Might work better for our tether. Uh, yeah, let it let it get just a little closer. Or how? Uh, sorry, how far did you move? These Atalanta views are, are, are just spectacular. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's hold that hold position here and then move uh, do the north move uh, on the whatever the off whatever the front line is there. That's a nice uh, offset. It, the current I think is blowing that way. It'll keep the tether off us for. You can just do 20 at a time if you want. That would be good cause in case we got to change. Okay, that's good. And there go. That should be set up for you, Dan. Roger. You can make the one opaque if you want, the one on the left. Yeah, you want that? Yeah. Okay. Opaque. Awesome. Okay, we moving north. Okay. And I, I haven't stopped any photogrammetry or anything. You got Still the ship good. moving north, do you? Thank I'm you. also always amazed when you, you look at a, a propeller. That it's not very large, that propeller, uh, and the two of them, but yet it can still. Yeah. So, Dan, just, uh, like we just want to move in that knots. slaloming kind of motion, slaloming okay? Slaloming, roger. Yep. Yeah, I want. We wound up moving a little too far that way. Uh, may, that might be all right. Super, what happens when you drop down a little bit? Me? Right? Yeah. All right. I'm almost right on top of you right there. Oh no, I'm fine now. So Hans, Hans is reporting that I'll the notes for the bit. for the class, in terms of the instructions, what their what their desire was was to make the conning tower as small as How possible. Much you want, that's that's good there. Okay. And yeah, you'll need to slalom right, en enough to over to now. the to the yeah. left hand side to see that okay. actual wall That's of the sub. Uh, yeah, sorry, let me move off to the right there. Yeah. Yep. 
Can that again? Move the, move the ship back to the uh, west a little. Sorry. 10 meters. So to make the conning tower as small as possible, of course, again, all these for increased submerged speed. That's just incredible. I'm going to... It really is, John. Come around here and uh, look at the propellers. This what we got to move Atalanta back to the west a little. We got a little greedy there. Also, Looks like we got a another uh, monkfish over there too. <gasps> oh. What? Oh, they yeah. look just behind the propeller. Right behind oh the propeller, gosh. yeah. Little one though. Yeah, just a little guy. Yay! Hmm. And so another design criteria was to replace the fixed deck guns with retractable I mounts think I see housed it. in shuttered <laughs> recesses when submerged, and then finally use steel plates for the upper deck rather than wood. Yeah, that, that's a, that's all right. Highlight five. Just okay. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing is a highlight five, yeah, honestly. <laughs> no, Jonathan says only if um, yeah, people are need. We need to get people out of bed. Is is it a five? Yeah, and highlight we four. We some of the uh, <laughs> onshore archaeologists about the design of the of the uh, screw. I think it's really interesting. It just appears to be a very standard, straightforward propeller with no uh, special acoustic designs to make it le make it less noisy, so that it would you know not cavitate or make noise. That's a yeah, I don't. I, I don't you know can what, what those off kinds by of. About a half uh, meter, probably, Dan. Or I, do, yeah, I, don't know when I had to type make a move there to manage my tether. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Roger. I don't Taylor. know when they first began to use those designs or yeah. myself. Did you see that uh, orange poofy thing? That's a nice set. It was like right there. on top of the uh -huh. thing that next to the monkfish. I, oh. I'm not sure which one, but All I right. did see a couple of orange to yellow poofy things okay. yeah a coral and uh an anemone um if i see another one i'll point it out yeah yeah so, so these would be the bollards that hans described what yeah. were the uh what were the kind of so i'll give you a shot of it again more slalom but look at that snap the fracture zone in the oh yeah people at home watching the quad image that uh, crack that uh, Jonathan was just mentioning is in the is in feed number three in the lower left. Manal, is that are as they, wide as the, Herc goes? What are those things right there? The two, uh, the two circular things on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I don't uh, know. Yeah. It looks like some yeah, kind of just about you can zoom back in to some kind of access. Thing. Let's Thanks. see, where are we? Mm -hmm. uh, we're not quite in the bow, no. Just right in front of the Screw. Oh, I, yeah, that is right. Why don't you look to your right just a little for me? Right outside yeah. the yeah. engine room. That's Imagine how noisy and crowded and cramped, and damp that submarine was inside. This is what you're talking about, slaloming. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly what I was talking about. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make mood. the audience dizzy doing this. Ah, well. <laughs> it's a great movie. It's worth it. What is that? What, what is that uh, graded? What is that graded? Uh, yeah, I saw that too. Out this, uh, yeah, that's side. perfect. Lots of good parallax. <laughs> Maximum parallax. So you know, this is the uh, cinema director here making me fly all over like a crazy person. There was something <laughs> sticking out of the side, uh, an op uh, some part of the ship that had round holes in it. Holes. H -O holes, H-O-L-E-S. I wonder if anybody knows what that was. Some very specific part of the sub sticking out of the other side. I couldn't identify it. I'm not sure what it what it was. Those holes are. Are you the sure top. this is what you want, Jonathan? <laughs> no, it says it's getting bigger. It's not so much. Just fly right down the center, please. Roger, it's making me physically ill. Well, I mean, I actually, I, the answer is actually yes, this is exactly what I want, but, but, uh. How about if we just do a pass and then uh, another sure. pass? We'll want to definitely do that around the conning tower, though. Yeah. Just don't want to miss anything. 
Yeah, I think we all, we all want a little. This is a kind of a close encounter with the Cunning Tower, but not yeah. too close, of course. <laughs> this is exactly. kind of a good angle to. Uh, another yeah, move, we just got to make sure we do that on the opposite side. We want to be here. <laughs> and those. Holes down the center of the hole, Larry. You said earlier are part of the system to submerge the sub. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, for flooding, for flooding the tanks. You got a butter that pancake, Dan. What's that? <laughs> you got a butter the pancake. Butter in the pancake, Roger. <laughs> yeah, we already saw that side. The, the submarine has to take yes, it, take, take in water to submerge, and then uh, you know fill ballast tanks, and that what submerges it, and then right use compressed air usually to blow out the water. We have some viewers seeing some glass sponges. Yes, they would be correct. I've been seeing a couple different uh, species of Faraday. Um, we've got a couple different Ophidiform and uh, Gadiform fishes, so that looks like it might be a grenadier there in the distance. Uh, got a squat lobster, a broader brush Chrysogorgia there. Continuing to see a high density of these primnoids. But we're also starting to see more of these chrysogorgids. Yeah, if this is the biodiversity yeah, that we're sake, seeing. Our sake, I'm glad to see there's not as much marine snow mm -hmm. in the water as there was earlier. So you're getting a nice, clear image. And Jonathan, I hope it's good and clear for you as well. Yeah, I'm really excited by the biodiversity we're seeing. It like, it just makes me think about like what's going to be populating this in the next 50 to 100 years. Yeah, these make good artificial reefs. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the view of the... Oh, wow. I know that was a lame buttering of the pancake, uh, buttering <laughs> the pancake, but here's the conning tower. The end result was worth it, Dan. Here we go. There I'll wait, is. I'll wait for Atalanta anyway, so. Yeah. Yep. I yeah, can. Nautilus, this is Hans. I think we just passed the aft position of the retractable anti-aircraft gun. Can okay, you, uh, thank you. We'll, 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 we'll be coming back again. Can you come up just a bit? Yep. So, since I'm waiting for Atalanta, Jonathan, how do you feel about a reverse Please pancake? Please do, yes, Roger. yes. How much up do you want me? Just a enough flag. for me to, that's probably enough. Kay. We'll be back. Thank you for the reverse, yes. The answer is always yes. Yeah. This is uh, for photogrammetry, yeah. so it's gonna be a little you quick here. You see, yep. you see a line there? Off? Oh, that's, that's, the that's the tether. That's a tether, okay. okay. If you look at the Atalanta view, Okay. It looks really cool in Atalanta. Come on, yeah, I'm, I'm highlighting a lot of, you know, it looks very like dangerous on Zeus. So. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all we are all hypersensitive now to yeah, that's true. small white small yellow lines that you haven't be lived till you've flown through your own tether and tied a knot. <laughs> and then had to untie it to your complete embarrassment in front of the crowd. Uh, keep going as long as you can, and then do the same thing on the other side, please. Raja. Just for all the viewers out there, it, Atalanta and the ship moves are being very, very careful, which um, does have this proceed at a slower pace than the impatient among us might want. But for photogrammetry, it offers an excellent opportunity to get even more coverage from all of the different angles so that um, all of the elements have as much detail as they can. Um, so what you're seeing us do, or you're seeing Dan do, and uh, Rye in the front row is just maneuver the ROVs, and Dan's flying right now on the back, and he's going to come around on the other side so we can peek at all of the corners of all of those little um, rusticles and oh, uh, corals Very cool. that are up there. Good job, man. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give you another combo line. Only one. What's that? Good. Oh. See if you can even fill the holes that sunk it. Uh, yeah. That would really be talent. So now Dan's gonna 
fly that direction there, and then he's going to go over on the other side per the uh, additional white pretty corals on the way back. Yeah, I see. So a viewer's so the, noticing... These are the bollards that... Uh, oh, the retractable oh, okay. bollards? Yeah, that's a thought. That's what Hans thinks they are, and it kind of makes sense. So. Oh, okay. oh, what is oh. that? Dan got, Dan got distracted. Oh, that structure with the round holes in it, is that part of the flooding and... Yeah, I assume so it's something that lets water through it, but uh, I don't know what. Are you going to come right under me? Come, yep. uh, come, come higher, Dan. And the deck, oh, the Dan. decking starting there. Coming higher. Higher, Dan. Higher, higher. We're, we've been there. There you go. Higher. Oh, higher. you want the cinema camera on it? I was looking at the stereo camera. Sorry. Yeah, cinema, cinema. Yeah, look at cinema now. Right there. Thank you. You got, you got it's the cinema. Somewhere there. Higher. We're going to zoom around a bit rapidly here while we yep. do some photogrammetry coverage. And we'll get Atalanta positioned to have a good look around the conning tower. Yep. It can come up a little for me, right? As I come under you here. A viewer's noticing that the corals are heavy on one side, and that's probably because of current, right? Yeah, I would think that the side most exposed it goes right on, next on year. the top yep. side would be the one where they are happiest. There it is. There's the flag. Great image. Uh, we'll come back for a closer look here. I'm still... Uh, Flying around like a and crazy person. There's another uh, chrysanthemum. Yeah. How, uh, uh, how yeah. So if uh, while we have time, if we can just fly back and and cover the white corals. Yep. Before we get too enamored with yonder, beautiful. Can I see the? Uh, uh, watch your back. Good. Watch your butt is right near that snake. Yeah, I see it. I see yeah. it. I could have gone a little further north there too. So now uh, Dan's going to be going back up to the, which direction is this, south? South is towards the rear Propellers. end. Propellers. The rear end. So he's, he's heading back to the south. We're going to butter the pancake uh, with the white corals now on this side. And for those of you who don't know, butter the pancake is a term that Jonathan made up. Um, <laughs> Let's make it it's, a thing. It's descriptive of photogrammetry on a flat surface. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No one likes a chunky, you know, you got to evenly spread the butter. You, you can say butter the, the toast. Butter. No, I like butter the pancake. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, she's our pancake. Yeah, I like mm. pancakes. Can we go butter the pancake next to the monkfish? Okay, here we go. Are you happy with that view? Yes, I am very yep. much. Here so we go. crazy speed run. I don't want to go too, too fast here because we'll stir up the uh, Yeah, don't stir the things. Just, just gentle, gently butter it. Gently buttering the pancake. Absolutely amazing. Get every detail here. We're going to have to do the same thing on the uh, north side, right? Yeah, okay. if possible. Yeah, absolutely. We're moving Atlanta over the conning yeah. tower now so we'll we be can able do to some we can do some nice descriptive spins around the conning towers yeah. just for all the angles and then continue on down yeah this on this last path Jonathan it was the first time I'd really seen the chrysanthemum clearly yeah the topmost part of the conning tower that that was really cool really yeah really beautiful incredible So for anyone watching the one of the Coming design down, elements uh, of five meters there. Kay. Give me just enough tether to get around the back here. One of the design elements of the system is you can see it in satellite feed three that we have kind of two constant uh, and fixed uh, points for doing this kind of photogrammetry work. So we have kind of a very wide angle lens that's facing forward and one that's facing to the top down and that way we can more comprehensively survey something with uh, Lights like are on Hercules, uh, 
with each one of the passes, kind of maximizing our, our time on station. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm happy. Right. I think you're dragging me. Uh, yeah, just uh, same same direction for, but across the uh, white side again, they Roger. on the right. Yeah, I'm going to drag you as I spin around there a little bit. Is that a... Yeah. Mm. Pass in front of me. Yep. Okay. We're gonna come right back up to the tower and then probably do the same thing yeah. on the uh, on the north. Are you at this this height? Uh, yeah. So you can. You're probably gonna have to come up when I get closer to you. There. We're coming to the conning tower now. Coming yeah, back to the conning you tower. Be okay. And you can look down a little, show us the conning tower there. And Herc's yeah. going to come for a glory shot. And there it is. Um, maybe look down just a little more. Yeah. A little more. Perfect. Where's the fishing line? Yeah, all right. Look down just a little bit more. Spectacular. Perfect. Yeah. Wow, incredible that shot with view. Atalanta. Absolutely incredible. Amazing. And we'll get incredible. the chrysanthemum. Yeah, always do both vehicles yeah. from yeah. now on. Oh, if it looks okay. cool. Yeah, because then it auto tax. Thank okay. you. That's uh, Herc's tether in the background. Don't panic. <laughs> you can come up just a little and uh, get that out of the shot. There it is. That is the Japanese eye. There's more slash on the top. Okay. I'm going to look down on you. Uh, sure. Why not? Let's see if I can. Truly iconic view I'm we're uh, getting right now. Oh, I'm going to get the tether out. There you go. I came up just a bit there to get it watch. in uh, Jonathan's camera, so I'll come back down to get it in the Zeus here. That is great. And so if we can just do some, uh, just some turns around the conning tower as much as is safe um, from multiple different angles, that would be great. We're gonna do that. I'm just gonna uh, drop down here on this angle there's a I don't know if we got a 90 on shot of the uh, hole in the side here Roger um, I also wouldn't mind if you turned off Atalanta's lights turn them off yeah getting quite a bit of uh, shadow yeah, right ahead. now All of them? yeah sure. that's much better the BBC Dramatic shot yeah. there. <laughs> and some preview of what we'll do a little bit later on, right there. Sorry, Simon. <laughs> um, however, that 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 hasn't done as much good for my image down for the photogrammetry, so you can turn it back on. It will. Yeah, you can light it back up. I think there you can see the the pressure hole, the rounded pressure hole, as opposed to the flooded part above it. Yeah. You know why um, light bank three and four were off? No idea. Okay, am I good to turn this on? Yeah, you're blasting. You want me to go? Well, it's brighter than ever. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come right down with the uh, stereo camera to the mud line here, and then we'll come back up.
Magnificent. Red line check. Wow. The detail is extraordinary. Can you try to peek the port camera in so it can see inside? Yeah. To the... Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you uh, go. Tether's pulling me in. I'm going to dust it a bit there. You want five more meters? Sure. Okay. All right. Keep on, keep on. I'll be right back, guys. Yeah, this is Hans. I wonder if those boxes with the kind of filamented lined lead sheets inside uh, maybe are, are you, sorry. individual batteries from the battery compartment. Yeah, that's exactly what I was wondering. And that is, I think that is the battery compartment when we compared it to the to the diagram, and and they may very well be. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I'm sure the batteries were large, but they may be made up of many smaller components, and that might be what we're seeing in those two those two black things that almost look like car batteries. I, yeah, yeah. I think I've seen things like that before in other wreckage. It could be that those are individual batteries of a much larger assembly series. I heard this. Uh, now, certainly, there are a lot of batteries in this club. Okay. Might get Larry. a little dusty here, and Tether's trying to push Herc into the hole. Larry, I heard this morning when the Americans were driving this uh, back from Japan, they didn't get very far before a battery fire started and that they had to then resort to towing the, the sub to Pearl. So there was some prior damage to the batteries prior to the sinking. So who knows? It may have been, uh, the torpedo might have triggered something within the battery compartment, but it had, it had already been damaged by a fire. Yeah. I might be able to give you more if I can look down and just see where the yeah, it can come down just a bit. I'm gonna might trash the vis here. I'm trying to poke Jonathan's camera into the hole a little bit there. Do you mind if I visually see what's right no, below me? No, I don't mind. Alright. Probably a good just idea. Concerned about the I think you're fishing right. line is right there, so I I'm okay. You can okay. hang out there. I'm not gonna be here that much longer. Just trying to get some light in there on his uh stereo camera without dusting it. inside with the left stereo camera there down the inside of the yeah. hole. <laughs> what do you think? Should I hit extend? Yes. <laughs> really? No. I'm thinking I hit I'm thinking I do it. Okay. I triple dog dare you. <laughs> <laughs> That's tough words from a Canadian. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're close enough, Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan's not yeah, here. Uh, Jonathan's, Jonathan's not here, so you're wasting your you're wasting your risk here. So. <laughs> <laughs> I will highlight. <laughs> yeah. Zero risk. All reward. Okay, he's probably got like a thousand pictures of the inside there now. <laughs> Is that stacked paper looking thing biological or is it part of the? No, I don't think it's biological. I think no, it, yeah, it, I thought it was a coral at first too. Uh, no, I think that's part of the innards of the submarine. So I read that despite the fact that uh, there was quite a bit of intrigue on the uh, intelligence reports about the riveting technique, this okay, was not a riveted submarine. This was actually a welded hull. 
And there again, you see beautifully the pressure hull inside as opposed to the outer hull. But this, this, this was a rivet, uh, excuse me, a welded hull, not a riveted hull. And the welded hull probably gave it more strength and ability to go to deeper depths. Well, Larry, my, you know? my, my suspicion is that again, it was done for hydrodynamics that, that you can really smooth the, the welds maybe, um, and, and maybe question of weight. Could these subs go deeper than American subs at the time? Um, I, I don't, this one I said that the uh, operating depth of this one was 110 meters. And I suspect that was not probably deeper than, than some of the U.S. subs. It's probably on the same order, but I don't know, I don't know that. So. Yeah, but they clearly have a lot of technological in innovations for the time that, uh, for at that, at that time, this Japanese sub was advanced. Really amazing detail. Oh, look Would, at the coral, uh, just right that, on the flag. Uh, some yeah. of that sediment on the flag, is it possible, it could, it, would that stuff blow off if you were to aim on uh, yeah, one I, of the uh, I think engines it, it, at it? We're seeing coral on the flag as opposed to... It is to, coral. Yeah. So one of the Hercules engines would not necessarily clean it off. No, and, and, and our job should not be to clean anything off. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to ask that over the years, just as a... As yeah, a no, no, our job is to leave it leave untouched. it ex exactly as it is. Untouched. Yeah. And let nature take its course. Exactly. Absolutely. Understood. But it's an irresistible question. <laughs> it would uh, disturb the visibility and you'd see that's nothing true. but a giant dust cloud for no, a while. That's true. So I was thinking right as we pulled out. I would probably like start kicking my chair. For <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I was thinking as a parting, you know, as we were leaving, see how clean that flag was. If you could already see it beautifully. I'm still impressed that these paints, you know, there's 70, yeah. 77 years yes. submerged and, and the paints are still vibrant like that. Yeah, nearly a, a, a hundred years. I remember Bob uh, telling uh, tell me, Larry, that the, the, the paint on, he was surprised as he was going down the hull of the Titanic. He's going down the hull closely and he sees this orange. And it's the anti-fouling paint on the Titanic yeah. was still intact yeah. and doing his job so clearly they're using some kind of paint here that is highly resistant to seawater and weathering and sea life so here's a well i, I thought i thought i found a great observation that the red coral was only growing on the red parts of the but it's uh, not, i see uh, one uh, of one of them is offset and growing on the white that, that red paint attracted red coral and <laughs> yeah, that could have been a whole study. Exactly. <laughs> See that little squat lobster, though, hanging out near, nearby the chrysanthemum? Ah, okay. So Hans is suggesting that uh, that paper-like looking series of things was actually the inside of a battery. I know it in cathode oh. plates within the individual batteries looking like pages of a book. Oh, I think those are actually crabs that we're yeah, seeing. Yeah, see that crab, that nice purple guy. So the batteries had, had broken open. Yeah, and, and Phil says that he was thinking the same thing too. Brings it back to the days of working uh, a golf course as a kid, refilling those anode batteries in golf carts by the dozen. <laughs> oh, that's right. I hadn't thought about mm -hmm. refilling them, that's, which is, of course, essential. Mm -hmm. how narrow that uh, conning tower is. You're right again, shaped specifically for speed underwater. There was no one, of course, aboard this uh, when it was scuttled or sunk, because this is long after the war. 
Yes. T towed out as mm -hmm. a you know target. Yeah. No, no one aboard. No, no. It was it was a uh, an intentional sinking. And, and nowadays, before they do this, and I don't know if they did it back then, but nowadays they're often uh, surplus vessels are sunk to become artificial reefs, but they take great care to remove any kind of oil or any other to right. toxic material. I don't know if in 1946 they Can you come down a bit. They yeah. worried or thought about that, um, but no. certainly that's the procedure now. Right. And they would have undoubtedly sunk this in a different location to uh, make it more attractive to sea life. But oh yeah, I don't know. No, the purpose here was not an artificial reef exactly. at all. Exactly, they yeah. weren't even thinking about it, right? Yeah, but yeah. I, I, I don't Dispose. know if they did anything to remove uh, any kind of uh, materials that that might. I think I've I've read or that they're seen photographs of it. There's still oil leaking from the B battleship Arizona and Pearl Harbor occasionally. Yes, yes. There's no there's no question about that. Often often referred to as the tears of those who yeah. who perished. But that that you know that that's different than an intentional uh, scuttling like this. Right, but the oil will last a long time. That's an awful nice view, too. It, it really is. Interesting, they extended all the periscopes before they, uh, they sank it. So what is that right in front of that uh, open space? Is that Good question. Yeah, I think that's part of the vessel. But it's got a regular shape and appearance, so it was. Uh, I don't know what. What is that, Larry? What do our onside, uh, onshore experts think? Well, well, I don't know. Rivets I don't or it well, can't be rivets. It's got to be. Th it's a sea life, isn't it? Oh, the, the, these, the, these, are the, these crinoids, or urchins that are attached all over. Oh, these are anemones. Anemones. Yeah. Anemones. Actinaria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, yeah. I was looking at something that was uh, right in front of the open space. Looked like yeah. a... When, uh, yeah, yeah. This is fun. I was looking at that, that too, was. and I always see loops like that. Appears to be a, a I, I always... orange or red painted patch there. John. Yeah. I'll come back and get another look on the next sure. pass. I had to come underneath yeah, all that Hans, string and stuff hanging there. We had difficulty understanding what you were saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, as I was looking at that loop forward of the hatch on the top of the sail there also, um, I don't know because, you know, the one plan that I'm looking at is really not very detailed, and so it doesn't have features like that in the schematic in the plan drawing. The, the orange-red coating there... That looks biological to me, but I'm not sure. Yeah. I th is that, are those glass panes? I just oh, noticed yeah. the reflection. Of no, no, no it looks like, it looks like glass panes. Uh, yeah, I yeah. They're clearly reflective. What? Yeah. What do our ar archaeologists think that is? So it, it lets them, I guess, be protected from the weather and still see out. Got to be. Yeah. Okay. Really? So oh. uh, on your schematic, does it show? Oh, no, I meant yeah, for why it's the worst ride. It's got yeah, a roll. I'm pretty sure those are glass panes there, and there's that yeah. loop. I agree, Larry. And that loop might be a, you know, oftentimes you have a bearing, a range, a direction finder, or something like that. Right. Makes sense. Oh, are you yeah. talking about the circular object? Yes. yes. What is yeah. that? 
And does anyone have any observations on the glass that Larry observed on the up. front of the conning nope, tower? No, good. Okay. Is that is it glass? Or yeah, this is Hans. I, I don't actually look down just a little for me. See where that. Go ahead, Hans. A lot of blindness there. Yeah, I, I see that, that glass. I don't see any navigation lights anywhere else, and I know in your attempt to streamline anything, maybe they could have lights inside the sail behind that, that nicely fared glass for oh. streamlining, but that's just a guess. I, I really don't know. And that does look like a radio directional finder on, on top of the yeah. sail, doesn't it? Yeah. I, I, it's interesting because unlike uh, many of the U.S. submarines where the top of the sail had a, a much more open space um, where when they were on the surface people people would say it looks like here you know there are those two open holes but it looked like there nobody was actually stationed up outside here the, they were all inside and that's why maybe those glass I don't see a railing or anything yeah, yeah, you're right. Certainly compared to the other Japanese subs of the era and the typical large open deck on top of the conning tower, the sail. Uh, but that's all drag, and this is just so uh, miniaturized and streamlined. It's just so modern looking. A great view of the, the periscope. Mm -hmm. Larry, I was looking for that too because I spent a lot of time on board nuclear. U.S. Navy nuclear attack subs, and there is, as you said, an area for the captain and a couple of observers to stand with inside the conning tower, and uh, they're protected from the weather, and but they've, they've got a little space, and I thought I saw something like that on this sub on the other side of the periscopes, but it wasn't very large, and I agree with you. I was looking at that one open hatch and thinking, how could you stand up in that hatch and see much of anything but it's a good question do we have an explanation of uh the marking on the side the uh half is that the chrysanthemum i think that's the, the, that's, yes. that's the chrysanthemum yeah yeah it is indeed and two two periscopes i think we decided yeah and then that uh that object sticking up behind that that thin periscope. What is uh, that's a, got kind of a loop on it? Is that perhaps also a direction finder, a radio? I don't know. I, I can't. I can't see it. But yeah, it, there, needs, to there needs to be a snorkel too somewhere. Oh, you know what? I bet that does look like an air intake. That they could. Yep. Yeah, that they could turn as the ship's traveling, as the sub is traveling forward the other direction that uh, that's a logical place and design for a snorkel. Yeah, we're done. Thanks. And those indeed look like fishing lines, aren't they? What an amazing, look at quite the stiff current, huh, Dan? Uh, not too bad, but yeah, enough to uh, struggle on the other side when the tether was behind me. So I think I've got above and below the yeah. tower here. Enough. That's fantastic, yeah. And Jonathan? Yes. I mean, it's your call. You can spend as absolutely long as you want here, or we can go look at the bow section too. Yeah, have you completed your photogrammetry? Uh, no, I, I think that we We're need to do a couple do races up and down the bow, yeah. or do. towards the, yeah, towards the bow, right? Or yeah. towards the at least broken section of the bow. Yeah, here. we have not. Well, we haven't done yet. forward of the tower. We need to go forward of the tower. Oh, do the to the yeah, tower sorry, here. forward of the tower. Uh, okay. Do the quick photogrammetry, and then let's set this up for a, some immersive lights off filming. Now that we have a full lay of the land. Whatever you want. Yeah. Okay. And, and, right. and then yeah, we'll we'll pop over time, to the bow. If you have time, get to the bow section. Yeah. But what is what is our time now, sir? It's uh, we're at uh, three thirty now, local time, and we need to be up by. Uh, 8 p.m. Up by 8, so about a 45 minute, yeah. 7.15. Okay, that's good. Yeah. All right, uh, full beans on the photogrammetry survey behind us are uh, uh, forward of the sail, please, sir. Roger. For anyone listening, full beans is a technical term. 
ROV pilots use for describing how many electrons go into the <laughs> hydraulic system. Or electrons in general. Jonathan, while you Aquaman were away, we noticed, you noticed these windows. Do you see yeah. See them at the top of the. It's interesting that, that they actually reflected the light, uh, Jonathan, so appear to be glass of some sort. Actually, um, you know what? We're we're all set up here. Let's. Uh, can we please turn off the Atalanta light again? And I want to get a I want to get a perfect shot of the chrysanthemum. I'm gonna switch over the cameras into a different mode for raw. Roger. Um, because uh, we're all set up. Might as well. Okay, good to go. Oh uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Don't sound too excited. So it's two one four two one. Always excited three. about turning off all the lights. And you want uh, the Y two zero one in there or the? Or uh, no, the, I want the full chrysanthemum. Can you frame up a beautiful shot for us? Yeah, in the which camera? Uh, fish eye. Uh, left one. Uh, yep. Right one. Yep. Bottom left. Right. No, that's the uh, that's the. Actually, let's do. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're right. I got it in three cameras here. Sure. Uh, come at it a little bit more obliquely. So that you so go a little bit more forward to the right, kind of angle the chrysanthemum in the frame. Oh, it's so exciting, everyone! This is like a photographer's a dream right now. There you go, and. Um, down and back just a smidgen. Alright, right, not to back up because the current's behind me. We're good. Alright, so those are set up and raw now, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to leave the page and take a photo. Okay, I got that. Back up just a little bit more, keep backing. Roger, it might get a little dusty as I back up here. And then uh, let's frame up a shot with the rising sun, please. Roger. Just let me come up here and let it What a up. dramatic view in satellite feed two right now. It, it really is, Jonathan, just spectacular. I'm going to have to come uh, upstream and then kind of float into it a little. So. Yep, sounds good. That's a remarkable photo right there. Yeah, it really is. I'm looking forward to seeing your amazing high resolution digital video of this. Can we reverse the light scenario and turn on Atalanta and turn off Hercules? Sure. Okay, turning on Atalanta. Right. Oh, wow. There's that snow. Let me get uh, come around here. Oh, tether might be coming across you're, the top of me. Yeah, you're right. All right. Can we get off on Hercules? Yeah, let me just get in the position first. Or close to position. Yep. Okay, here we go. Lights off. <sighs> oh, 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 my gosh. Try pivoting Whoa. Right? See if we get more light. Cap. Yeah, okay, so uh, go to the right a little bit more, and Roger on that um, Roger for on the, the Atalanta move. Okay. Um, so uh, can you lateral right and counter on the sail just a little bit? Maybe back up and just lateral a little bit more to the right? Roger. There you go. Turn a little bit more. See, I'm just framing up right now in the wide angle view. Yep. The bottom left? Yeah, the bottom left. Roger. Okay. And then back up by, uh, let's see, let's go, let's go forward at the tower by about one meter. Or, I'm sorry, behind you. By